Cartwright. Great news. Congratulations. I got you a contract for three wagon loads of pine a month. $20 a load. What do you say? Every other tree, as we discussed. Wasn't easy, but I brought my boss around. The load will be special cut just the way you asked. Thank you, Mr. Tiger. Now, that contract runs a year. I'll be by every few months to make sure everything's all right and to uh, pick up my commission. Commission? Let's say five bucks a load. I thought you were paid by the mill. I am. Let's just call this the uh, cost of doing business. Well, call it what you will, Mr. Taggart, but a bribe is a bribe in my book. I'm not going to pay that. Now, you don't understand. Everybody pays. Even your friend, Margaret Green. You ask her. Whatever Mrs. Green agrees to is her own concern. The answer is no. Well, you won't be so high and mighty when the winter comes on. Don't think about that. I'll be at the fight Saturday. If you change your mind, you can let me know. I'm standing with Ben. He won't pay you off, and neither will I. And I'm going to send a letter to the editor of the Alta California, Pa. As well as a copy to your employer in Hangtown, Mr. Taggart. Miss Green. Miss Cartwright. There's been some sort of misunderstanding. Hello. Well, that's the second track we've played off Paul Costa's CD. The CD that features some of Australia's finest country musos. Members of The Flood, Casey Chambers' backing band, and The Feral Swing Cats which bookends nicely with the fact that we're closing the show tonight with another member of the Feral Swing Cats. Well, when you get the chance to interview Australia's oldest country artist, you'd be crazy to pass it up, even if the show is called New Country. Smokey Dawson was in town promoting his latest release. 92 years old, sharp as a tack. Dave Dawson caught up with him, and it was such a great interview that we're spreading it out over the show tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, just well, then be able to tell the story about the hat. I'm not making up excuses. You are making up excuses. I would have thought you'd have more consideration for your mother. Go to the damn match, Dad. You can't just stay here. Look, just shut your mouth. I don't need my bloody son telling me what to do. Jake, wait in the car. Jake, you stay there. For Christ's sake, Dad, it's his grand final. Get off your ass and give him some support. What if the hospital rings? You can take my damn mobile. I'm not leaving the house. Jake. Jake, come back. Jake! Mr. Jackson, your, your son Paul has been involved in a high-speed collision. I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson, he died as a result of that collision. Tell mom. tells me you have a bar of your own. That's right. Is it a gay bar? Or can anyone drink there? So, uh, you, you just sell football guernseys. There's no other sporting equipment. Fill the niche, Simon. Identify your market, give them something they can't get anywhere else. That's, that's the same philosophy I use at the bar. I always wanted Jeff to take over the shop. He used to be a nuggety little rover in his day, you know. You played football? Sure. Natural talent to burn. Absolutely no self-discipline. Hi, my name's Jim. 
Jim. And I've used imported trifluralins. Oh, mate. Oh, Pay it now, mate. It's okay. If you think all farm chemicals are the same, you need help. When you buy a new farm, you're supported by product innovation and field trials in your own backyard. So you're investing in your future and the future of Australia. Insist on new farm. Anything else is just bloody un-Australian.